we met of all places in front of Gristidi some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet and I started to go and he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at seven. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week we went to some terrible play. And the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly six or seven months had flown by and he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life? Because I'll be here right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question. There is nothing I've wanted so much in my life. It may sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month with this rock band that played in this old synagogue. And we got an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash and we decided to take the day off. He had to go into his office that morning and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. When I heard on the street what I thought was a joke. Then I heard all the sirens and saw all the smoke. I went running back home with this feeling of dread. The voicemail he left and the last words he said. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky. And I thought of that day and I started to cry. When I, sure as I breathe, I heard John in my ear saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay because I'll be here even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater even if you go out on my birthday this year instead of staying at home letting all of life's moments pass by you don't have to cry because I'll be you start going to places that we went together when you take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true when he says that he wants to be married to you when you call him one day and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes yes Jason I will marry you I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear because I finally am able to tell you I will be here.